everybody, Ann here, and I thought today, while I'm waiting on my gravel, we take a look around my property and look at some of the beautiful things I found on it. But first I want to show you my big problem. This is my drive. This is the road. See that right there? That's my big problem. I stomped around in it with my boots on, and you can see how deep it, it goes down. Where there's water, I mean it basically, it's like quick mud. It just keeps going and going. So this is a big problem. Part of the problem is this culvert is completely blocked. There's a little bit of water right there. Um, but if you look over to the other side, let me bring you over there. There's my mailbox. This is completely blocked. Completely blocked. So the water is just coming down this street and collecting right on my driveway because this culvert was not drug properly, so hopefully I can get it fixed. But if you look up the drive, that's what I'm dealing with. Now I got in by pulling around this way and coming up here. So you can see that that's all pretty solid in the grass. You can kind of see how I went. And let me walk you up to the point where it starts getting not so bad. You can see over here, it's still really muddy, really damp. But over here, where there's a little bit more sun, not so bad. So when I pull up in the van, I just come on this side. And then when I get to about then I kind of switch over and start pulling up over here. And then all of this right here is just fine. So that's how I got up and I just kind of pulled the van around. There's Betty, there's my solar panels, there's a big stack of wood. So yeah, that's my big problem. So let's take a look at where I want to put the tiny house. Tiny house like right in this area, starting by Kind of where my solar panels are and just coming back to about where the junk pile is or maybe put it back just a little bit further this spot right here is really flat so it'll be easy to put it there the solar panels will be facing the sun and if i don't if i don't put it like right out like this then i won't be looking directly at my neighbor if i have it so my front porch is pointing this way you can still see my pretty porch front from right here but I'm just looking out basically into the woods so alrighty let me let me show you a few cool things I found today these are brown oyster mushrooms and underside my fingers are dirty oh well um, that's not very well lit, but yeah, I'm gonna confirm these in my book and then come back and harvest this whole little thing and maybe cook them up for dinner. Pretty cool. And these are fresh too. They're nice and soft and spongy. They're not woody or anything. Look at all of this wood. My goodness. Tons of it everywhere. You know what I'd love to do is be able to cut some splices out of the center of this and make like cutting boards and whatnot. Some of these trees are so big that have been cut down. Oh, and check this out. I don't know what this is, but there's a little, let me get out of the sun. There's a little mushroom underneath of it, but what kind of moss is that? I have no idea. It's very cool looking. It looks like it's got little spiky things. Oh, it's not even attached. It must have came off. But look at that. That's pretty cool. I love finding stuff like this. <sighs> it doesn't matter what I do, I can't get it in focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. What is that, guys? Isn't it pretty? Check out this one. It is so pretty. It's getting kind of shady back here, so. But look at that. Look how the ferns and the moss are growing out of it. Oh, that is just so gorgeous. And over on this side, what do we have? Mushrooms. 
mushrooms and moss. These aren't edible, I don't think. But they're everywhere. I am just so thrilled. Now, I don't know about you, but it looks so pretty back in here with the moss covering parts of, I don't know if it's wood or stone, but with all the little uh, ferns lining the, the little river, my little river. <laughs> it's just basically a drainage creek or whatever. But it's all mine and more wood. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, an animal den. I wonder what's living in there. They're all over the place. Now, this orange stuff. What is it? There's there's another kind of lichen or something going along with it, but let me kind of take a little piece off. You can't really see it. You know what? It's definitely fungus, but it feels more like a jelly. Um, very weird. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like an orange jelly of some kind. Very, very strange. Very pretty. Well, there are a ton more things to be seen on this property, but uh, I'm getting a little tired and it's getting a little cold. I got my pink hoodie on. I'm going to make some dinner. Um, I made some potato soup earlier today, so I got some leftovers, so I'm going to finish that up. But there's so much more to see on this property. I just can't wait. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that please, please let it, let it get drier. I was talking to my neighbor across the street, Mr. Lucas, and uh, yeah, he agrees. We've got to get the culvert fixed. Um, and we've got to get this gravel here so that I can get the tiny house here. So say some prayers. And that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.